so we just signed our house loan we are officially homeowners now it's 2nd of november today yes and today we get approved by youtube to be monetized our youtube channel so happy are you happy now we have a house yeah hi guys welcome back to our channel if you are new here welcome today i will be talking about what is going on with our life right now there are so many things happening and i'm so excited to share it with you guys um but first of all i want to say thank you for all of you for each one of you who are constantly supporting our channel watching our videos and subscribe to our channel so just recently we have finally reached 1000 subscribers so we are very very happy about that and we are also monetized finally so i have uploaded my first ever video six months ago and then exactly six months after we have approved to monetize our channel so we are very happy and excited about that and of course we are not here without your help and support guys so we really appreciate all your support and help and thank you so much for watching our videos and i hope that we can make more videos that you can relate to that you like to watch and as you know we are sharing videos about our lives about family vlogs and baby updates think motherhood and lifestyle videos so if you like that kind of content and if you are not subscribed to our channel yet please subscribe and we really love for you to be part of our youtube channel so yes thank you so much for each one of you who are watching now who are subscribed to me and me channel thank you so much 1000 subscribers we are so so happy and excited and so grateful for each one of you thank you so that is the first thing that i wanted to talk about and the second one is about my maternity leave so as you know my maternity leave ended on september so i supposed to be back to work on october 1st but then we decided to continue my maternity leave because I don't want to put my baby, she's only 10 months old. So if I, actually in September she was only 9 months old and I don't want to put her in the daycare only when she's only 8, 9 months old. So yeah, we decided to extend my maternity leave for 3 months. So instead of October, I will be going to work in january next year so and then we are going to put rosie in the daycare it is kind of a hard decision for us to make because if i have a choice if i have an option i would love to stay home longer for her to stay home with her take care of her at home but since going to work is like very helpful to us and it's good to have two incomes coming income in the house so that's why i will go back to work in january and we have to put rosie in the daycare so yes in finland you have an option to extend your maternity leave until three years so you have you have a chance to stay home with your kid until three years if you want or you can make another baby within the three, three years if you want that's an option you don't have to go back to work you can extend your maternity after two years and i have i have done that before with my first daughter i was home for about three years before i before we put her to daycare so i think it was good but at the same time i was so bored and sad you know like stay home all the time doing nothing i mean i take care of my kid but still it's nice if you do something else so yeah um about maternity leave in finland so 
since we are talking about modernity leave now, I'm going to talk also about maternity benefits, what you get here in Finland. So, for the first um, 105 days, you will gonna get the full salary. It's like for three months. Yeah, for three months, you will get the full salary. Salary. That's it. That's it when you have a job before you're going to maternity leave. So, in my case, I had a job. I have a job. And I have... I'm permanent in that job. So, I get uh, for the first three months, 100% salary. And then after that, 150 days or 50, something like that. About six, seven months, you will get um, 80 to 90 percent of your salary, and that money you will get from Kela. So, if you have a job, so I would say it is good to go on maternity leave if you have a job, especially if you have a permanent job, then you will get bigger benefits. So, that is my experience, and uh, yeah, it's it's quite different when I had my first child before because I didn't have a job. So my maternity allowance was a little bit smaller. I mean, really, really small comparing to now that I have a job. So it's really an advantage if you have a job before going on maternity leave. Yeah. And yes, you can also extend your maternity leave, like I said earlier, until three years. So now when I finish my maternity leave and I wanted to stay home with my child a little bit longer, also I will get allowance and it's called um, home care allowance for your child, taking care of your child. And this allowance is good for three years. This is not big, it's like about 300 euros something. And then since we live in a small city and our city also help, parents so they give another 100 euros so i get about 500 euros minus tax so all the benefits even if it's just government benefits you still have to pay tax after that i mean before so you will get a little less money but still good enough that you get get something even if you are staying home with your child yeah so yeah, I will be staying home with baby until end of December and I will be going back to work in January. And yeah, I hope I, I, hope I have given you ideas on what it's like maternity leave here in Finland. I know in every country it's different and also here in Finland also another benefits for parents benefits is this. As I have shared previous videos earlier, we have this maternity package and when you give birth, the you have just pay in the hospital. For me, I paid about 100 euros, so it's not that much for when you go delivery and labor in other countries, for example. So yeah, this is the benefits that we get her in Finland. Okay, and the next thing I wanted to talk about, something really exciting, is that we bought a house, finally. So, we are so happy and excited, and we have about two weeks and a half now before moving. So today is, today is November 10, and we are gonna be moving November 26, but we are planning to, like, to be in the house our first night there to be on November 28 so that will be a lucky number if you believe in that kind of believe yes so we bought a house and we we, we already started packing and uh, yeah cleaning the apartment and we are finally leaving here we have been planning to buy a house for so long time even before i get pregnant with rosie but the plan before was that we are going to buy a house in another city like a bigger city and to find job there and to move there but then because i don't want my older daughter to move her school to another city so i really really want to like 
No, we stay in La Visa. I want to stay in La Visa. I love La Visa. It's a peaceful city. It's small. We don't have so much here. We don't have big malls. We don't have, but we have shops. I mean, we have grocery shop, which I think it's the most important. And we can get whatever we need. And if you want to go to the shop shopping mall, then we can go to the other city for that. But, but yes, in our town, we don't have those big shopping malls. So it's, that is quite a bad thing about it. But also the other city is not so far away. Like in half an hour, you can go there and if you can go shopping if you want. And if you want to go to Helsinki, you can go for one hour or one hour and a half and you are there. So it's not that bad. So yeah, we bought a house and I'm so happy because I don't know, I saw this house in the listing and I feel like I have seen this house for so long time and I thought that I have a dream about this house. So it's like a dream house for me. It's not the house what I really like that it's far away from the neighbors like I have mentioned all the time. But it's in the city, it's it's not so far away from where we live and it's quite big for it's it's big enough for us it has four bedrooms and sauna and everything like that it has a backyard so we are happy and excited and i'm so excited to decorate a new house yeah and we already started packing i will share a separate video of how we pack our things and it's actually the apartment now is a little bit empty because we already packed, started packing and so many things already are in the boxes. So yeah. So another thing I would like to share with you is about how is how is how is COVID nineteen in Finland? Do we have a lockdown here? Actually we don't have a lockdown. We never had a lockdown here in Finland actually. And before we even never were mask but recently or oh, the second wave of pandemic it's like if you go anywhere if especially in the grocery shops you will see most of the people are wearing masks so for us we have to wear also mask although we don't really like wearing masks at all but this is something like we have to do for our own safety and for the safety of others so yes, here in Finland now, you can see a lot of people everywhere, we are wearing masks. So like I've mentioned before, not everyone, we, we don't wear masks, but now we have to. So, And there are a lot of cases already, actually, like a month ago, my daughter's school, there was one student and few teachers who got infected of coronavirus, so it was kind of scary for me. But it was in high school, so so in that class they were suspended, but my daughter's class, they still continue. And yeah, they still go to school every day now, like a normal school. We don't do online class here anymore. We have done it early in early spring, but now, no. The school opened in August, and then everyone is going back to school. So it's like... It's like a normal, like, not like normal, but not normal. But yes, everywhere we go, we have to wear masks now and things like that. So yeah, that's all for our life lately. Nothing much. I mean, we get monetized, we get 1,000 subscribers. I extended my maternity leave and we bought a house, so... Those are really exciting news and actually on November 2nd, it was the day I received an email from YouTube says that you are accepted in a YouTube partner program and it was the same day that we signed our house loan. So that day was so special and we are very happy and grateful. Again, guys, if you are subscribed already, thank you so much. We appreciate your support and help. And if you are not subscribed to our channel yet, I would like for you to be part of our YouTube family. So please subscribe. And we are not here without you guys. So we are very, very happy and thankful about that. And that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.